Our conscious mind makes us aware of ourselves and our surrounding via our five senses. It is also the analytical part of our mind with all the intellectual thought processes. It can process only one thought at a time, but it can make choices in our life and therefore we can reprogram old behavior patterns and change our thoughts, our attitudes and habits. And with that, our fate and future. The next one is our subconscious mind, which records pictorially every activity that we are engaged in and what we think about these activities and experiences. Yes, all our thoughts, words and actions, the good ones and the bad ones, like traumatic events. It also stores programs that we have downloaded in our present incarnation before we turned seven years old, from our family, religions, community, surroundings. We absorbed their beliefs, their prejudices, judgments, their fears and worries and made them our own. Remember the famous Jesuit saying, give me the child until he is seven and I will give you the man. Unfortunately, most of us never question these downloaded programs which were never ours, but they are all in here. Our subconscious is not the same as our soul but it is connected to our soul, which registers every sensation, thoughts and words. The same is in the planetary constellation of the material and immaterial cosmos. By the way, the subconscious also takes care of all the life functions of our body, like our heartbeat and much more. They are expressed through the nervous system to the organs. It is interesting to note that each component of our body, like every organ, every blood vessel also has a conscious subconscious and spirit conscious mind. Our organism and all the functions of our body are in constant communication with our brain, the conscious and subconscious mind. And storing is constantly taking place, being imprinted in our body through our feelings, sensing, thinking, speaking and acting. This brings us to our spirit conscious or superconscious mind that is limitless and infinite in nature. It is eternally pure. It is the core of being. It is the spirit of God in us. It is the life. It is our true eternal reality. Via our spirit conscious, we can see the underlying unity of all things. It wants to set us free. Therefore, this spirit conscious is our helper, admonisher and leader in us. Now let's look at some typical examples of how this all works together. For instance, here in our conscious mind, which is also called the personality mind, we are storing pictorially how we want to present ourselves to the world, who we think we are. It is our illusionary world what we think makes us so special.